So, Paul, not the most inspiring in performances, but we did the job. I think that was all, what it was all about today, Russ. Just um, you know, getting through to the next round. Um, it's always tough when you play a team from from the league below. Uh, it's like a stigma that attaches itself to people's minds, and uh, for some reason, people think they don't have to play with the tenacity and the the tempo that you know we probably did at um, at the Lincoln, but. Uh, but we got the job done. It's the best result in the world, the 1-0 for me. Uh, we worked hard to keep a clean sheet. And, um, you know, we, we, we scored a goal. So, um, yeah, there's no... Uh, you, don't get, you don't get through to the next round on performances. You don't get through to the next round uh, with anything else apart from, um, apart from results. You brought Sean Tooten in in midweek and he had an excellent debut, made the goal. Yeah, look, everyone knows what, we, what we're going to get with Toots. Um, he's going to improve because of the lack of proper game time. Uh, he's, I mean, he came alive anyway. Uh, we, we put the balls in the right areas for him. He will come alive and he will score goals. Um, Please for him and Benno. Benno once again scored. I think that's five in five games for Benno. And he's, he's, he's took the mantle on since, um, since Byron's took his knock. Um, overall, you know, the team worked hard and, and showed that... Um, that little bit of something that we had when, just before we went on the 26 game and beaten run. And uh, a pleasing, we, we, look, we threw to the next, next round. And you know, when, when you look back, you know, people probably forget about today. And, um, but we're still in, the, still in the next round of the, of the trophy. Aside from the save at the end, I thought we very much con controlled the game once we were in front. I could never see Kidderminster scoring. I really couldn't. Um, they had some decent possession here, there and there, around their sort of back four, played the horseshoe, but when it came to the final third, I thought we mopped up everything. Um, you know, we knew what it was going to come up against, we knew we get a team that tried to play through us, but like I say, I, I thought in their third, they did okay, but when it came to play, you know, and, 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 and creating chances, I don't think... Um, I don't think Flat had a save to make until until probably the you know the last seconds of the game when when Kidderminster went went total direct and um, and hit the big lad up top. So big lad, big lad up top. So look, it's um, it's a good win. Um, we we'll take any win. Take you know winning's winning's important. Consistency is key now, and getting back to those levels of consistency that we've we've shown in um, in the previous six months. Big game next Saturday. All the shot have gone above today, above us today in the league uh, with our inactivity. Um, how do you see that one? Yeah, there's going to be some really tough games. All we've got to do is hang in there. You know, our our, our goal was to affect it before the uh, season started. We're still there. We've just come out of an FA Cup. We in the last, uh, you know, what is it the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy yeah. now, and um, we lovely placed in in in, in the league. Um, now, as I say, we've got, to, we've got to really push on. We've done a lot of business later than a lot of people in, in the window. Uh, there'll be some business being done now to, to strengthen us. And um, hopefully, like I say, that level of consistency in our performance and results will, will, will come from uh, that little bit of confidence we've had from, from one or two decent results of late. Jack Thomas signed yesterday afternoon as well. Uh, how do you see him influencing the squad? He's, he's a good player. He's, um, I gave him his debut, I think he was 16, 17 years of age, played 40, 50 games in League Two. Uh, Steve doesn't want to lose him. Uh, he's going to come and get some games to, between now and the end of the season, uh, which I think the kid needs. Uh, he's got everything in his locker. He was being talked about in premiership circles when, you know, when I was at the club. Um, gets around the pitch, put a foot in, good genetics, got a goal in him. Um, but technically a very, very good footballer as well. But um, this will do him the world of good and he'll do us the world of good. And uh, he'll put some competition in there. Uh, kid's got a, a great desire to, to be successful. And um, I think like Yates, he'll, he'll rub off on one or two. Is that the end of the uh, strengthening or is there likely to be any more new No, faces? there's going to be some more. There's going to be some more. I mean, today, I think it was 17 players we had available. Um, we, can't, we can't get away with that. Um, that sounds harsh, but we can't get away with it. Um, but we've had positive talks with the chairman, and um, yeah, we, we we need a few bodies in. You know, we've got five defenders for four places at the minute, which is, isn't isn't going to isn't going to work between now and then the seasons. We've just got to make sure we do our due diligence and make sure we're bringing the right players that are going to really affect uh, this this second half of the season.
think since last time we spoke on camera, we've let uh, Ewan Murray go and Andy Howarth. You'd like to say something to those lads? Well, both of them, for me personally, have been brilliant to work with. Uh, I've said a little bit in the press about, about Ewan. I've said the same sort of things about Andy. Um, look, the only problem that we've had is both of them had a desire to, to play consistently. And I couldn't guarantee them that. Being honest, as I, as I am with all the players, you know, whether it's good or bad. And, um, you know, it was their decision to, uh, you know, to, to go and, and, and play football and to earn themselves a contract, not just for this season, but, you know, like Ewan's got a young family uh, for next season as well, Russ. So um, I wish them both sincerely all the best because they're both great lads. And um, like I say, when we, when we crisscross, you know, I'm hoping they'll, they'll buy me a pint and, uh, you know, we'll still be... Still, still have a good relationship going forward. And where are we with Byron Harrison's injury? Well, he's, he's walking around really good at the minute. Um, Sean's treating it with this new boot that he's got. Uh, the lad's in a good state of mind, looking positive. Uh, but we've, we've got to really be, um, be careful with him until the, the swelling's gone down, which a lot of it has now. Uh, it'd be great to have him back ASAP. Um, especially uh, now he's had a little bit of a breather. We, we get a fresh Byron Harrison who's as we've seen with his goal-scoring exploits this year, he's, he's, um, he's, he's a match winner. So, uh, as many good players as we can get back into, into the frame, um, it'd be a positive for the football club. Thank you very much. Thank you.